Oh, amazing. Hey farm friends and family, it's Alan from the Farm 166 and I know that I have a shadow on my face. I'll be turning here in about five seconds. One, two, three, four. Let's see if that makes it better. Five, okay. So that's a little better. You might be hearing a lot of sound, but it's a beautiful day. Nicest day we've had, nicest spring day we've had so far. No wind. Blake's game, baseball game got done early because we won and it just went quick. And during the baseball game, I was texting somebody, messaging somebody that had reached out because they had been watching our channel. They said they have a horse that they're hoping I could find a home for. Well, as I've told you before, I have to be pretty picky. I hope, hope you guys can hear okay. Let me roll up the window. I'm enjoying it's that nice the weather, I had the window down, but I have to be really picky because, as I've been telling you, I'm trying to trim down on horses, not gain more. And with Blake leaving, I've got to do that. And also, with hay prices so high, I have got to be careful that I don't overextend myself. Trying to rescue horses is not a cheap endeavor. But I'm gonna go get this horse because I think it may fit exactly what one of my friends has been looking for and it's a 20 year old and i'm excited to introduce you to it so let's go and let's go get this horse but real quick i want to show you what happened last night well actually this morning about 2 a.m lex our seven or eight year old mare had a baby that we called peaches and we used to have her here on the farm and she was bred to 66. And then we sold her to some good friends out in Florida, Michael and Vicki. And they're the same ones that bought Miss 66. And now they have Peaches, which they call Lexus, which is cool because Lexus is the daughter of Lex. Anyway, last night, well, sorry, yesterday, Vicky texted me a picture and said, or maybe it was Michael, one of the two, texted me a picture and they said, what do you think? Well, the picture was of the, the bag where Peaches was filling up with milk and she was waxed up. So those of you that know what that means, she was starting to drip some colostrum. The, the colostrum actually kind of solidifies and looks like wax. And when that happens, my experience has been that it's gonna be within the next 12 hours. So that's what I told him. I said, hey, that's awesome. You're looking at less than 12 hours. Well, I was glad that I was right. And about two o'clock this morning, Lexus, or Peaches, had her baby, which is the first 66 full to be born in 2023. And Michael and Vicki own Lexus, and that's their baby. They knew that they bought Lexus pregnant, and so we're so excited for them. And it looks like it's gonna be a little Bay Roan and it's a stud colt. But let me show you that video that they sent, the live birth of the first 66 baby in 2023. Oh, you don't need to let your body go, hungry heart. It's not easy to start over. I've been there a couple of times, starting over. that skin oh it feels like a long run up here just stay still take the smallest breath the shortest steps it's enough take it easy and let your feelings out don't push them aside
Wasn't that awesome? There's two other registered mares that will have babies by 66 this year. Lex, the mother to Peaches or Lexus that you've just been watching, and Lily. So both of those mares are here on our place and they will be having babies in the next, I would guess, probably two weeks for Lex and then Lily's probably a month month away anyway both of them will be having babies and both those babies I want to want to tell you I'm gonna probably sell both of them this year just because I've got so many and I'm trying to trim down and I'm getting a baby from Martin's quarter horses this year so just so you know if you want a 66 baby there's only two of them for sale this year and so I would encourage you to reach out if you want a registered quarter horse that has 66 or Roan Stallion as the daddy. And then I can put the papers of those two mares here that you can see also. And then next year you would have a chance to get a 66 baby that's, cause 66 is being leased by Martin's quarter horses. So, you could get a 66 baby that is half Martin's quarter horse, like gold 66, and half 66. Anyway, talk about an amazing cross. So, reach out to Martin's quarter horses. We'll put their phone number right here and tell them that you're interested in a 66 baby. But again, the only two available this year will be born on our farm. And then next year, there will be a bunch born on their on their farm. So let's go get this horse and I'll introduce you to the horse and then we'll uh, take it home and maybe have enough daylight for Blake or I to hop on and see see what we think. So come along. Well I arrived to pick up the horse and they have the cutest little mini donkeys. I'm gonna ask them about those. <laughs> I've always thought it'd be cool to get a mini donkey but anyway let me show you this horse and and then we'll take him home and figure out what he is so it's this black and white paint and we like black and white paints he's losing his hair he's old he's about 20 years old he's a tennessee walker and supposedly he's really gentle and well broke so we're gonna take him home and see what we think it was so fun to meet alan that's the owner of the horse and they call him Patches. And I'm hoping I get home in time that Blake and I can try him out. He's just an older horse that needs some, some TLC and to brush out his hair and to see what he can do. And we're gonna find him a, a good home. So I'm excited to get home and start brushing out all that hair and see what Patches is. So. Let's see if we have time to do that before dark. 
I just pulled up and look at which horse Blake's messing with. You want to see something cool? I do want to see something cool. He, something new today. He is one beautiful horse. Oh my gosh, that is awesome, bud. So, here he is, just coming three years old. And he's a stallion, and he's amazing. And he comes from Martin's Quarter Horses in Bayfield, Colorado. And he has become my favorite horse on the property. So, we will saddle up Patches after we brush him off real quick. He's got a ton of hair here. And we'll just see what we think. Well, Blake, what do you think of Patches? Well, I think... Ready to try it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a gold or a gilding? It's a gilding. It's just... Okay. Gold 66 doesn't know it's a gilding yet. So, well, let's grab a brush real quick. <laughs> Gold 66 is a teenage boy with a lot of hormones. But hey, go, let's grab a brush real quick and we'll brush him off. Hey, goat, you decided to come out and visit us, huh? All right, we're going to brush him off real fast. So Blake's going to brush him off real fast, and you're going to see hair come off like crazy. I, this is one hairy boy. And we'll probably, I'll, tomorrow, let's deworm him too. Vicky, come over. My cute. Yes. Wife just came down. He's got a lot of hair. We could spend forever getting all the loose hair off. Let's just knock off the big stuff and put a saddle on real quick. I want to see what he does before dark. So, look at all the hair coming off. It's crazy. Hey, hey how's how my girl? You? Good. Good. We're going to saddle him up for you. Guess what? Did you tell him that we'd be our rivals in baseball today? Hey, we meet, beat Mogi on today. I don't know. This video is already getting long, but maybe we could show. Let's just show a clip or two. Yeah, so. maybe. Actually, we may not even get around to it because we didn't video as much today. <laughs> but we beat it. beating them. Well, we did enjoy <laughs> beating, beating them. That was, look at the hair coming off of this horse. But he's big and he's gentle. And uh, Mama be... rode a uh, gold 66 today, too. That's right awesome. Now. Some people may wonder why we have the goat out, and honestly, he just got out, but <laughs> I think it's good for the horses to have these goats around. It just desensitizes them to having all kinds of weird things around them. And obviously it doesn't bother this guy. So He's pretty. He lost a ton of hair, so he weighs a lot less now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But Blake's gonna hop on and we're just gonna see what he does. I'm gonna miss uh, having a, a young Hey, I'll, I'll ride this horse while you guys ride the goat. <laughs> <laughs> that goat's almost big enough. It's a big old goat. I'll miss having uh, my cowboy around that I can just say, hey, hop on and tell me what this horse can do. So. He said he's a Tennessee walking horse. You could kind of see a different yeah, you walk. See when he walks, it, there's just a different. <laughs> Blake, yeah. he's taking him up that pile of stuff to see if he would do it, and he stepped in it like, what the heck is this? Blake, stay over here closer to us just so our videos will look good. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How are you, goat? Does this goat have a name? Uh, whatever you want to call Billy. I think his name is Billy. 
Hey, Billy. Billy the goat. He <laughs> um, kind of looks like he duck trains a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You just try to turn in. He's 20 years old. He's a little stiff. I wouldn't call it a limp. It just looks like me getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Vicky said, so he's sound? I said, well, that's like asking a 51-year-old if they're sound. They should be sound. Well, I'm, yeah, being able to move is sound, yep. No, he's doing all right. He's, he also acts like his hooves are a little long. He's tripped over them. Will he let you go into a low hook? I mean, just go up to the trailer and back. He's a cool horse. <laughs> Man, I'm going to miss having Blake around to try out these horses. <laughs> I'm going to miss Blake around for more reasons than horses. What? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> You're dark. <laughs> so, but, yeah, that's okay. Vicky, Casey's going to miss Blake, huh? Vicky and Casey can try out the horses for me. Oh, great. <laughs> He's cool. He stops good. <laughs> he backs good. Yeah, get him to walk like a Tennessee walker. Look, he's walking. <laughs> and he's a Tennessee walker. So you can see it. Just yeah, it you walk. can. That's interesting. He's got a different gait. Is it comfortable? It looks different. That's yeah, and look at that—you can cover some ground. Yeah, and it's not as uh, the movement's more side to side. I feel instead of up and down. That's weird. So I'm shaking my guts this way instead of this way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we think he's kind of cool. So really cool. thanks for coming along, guys, and we are just so grateful to have a nice, warm day on the farm. And the sun has gone down and it's been awesome. So thanks for coming along. Over and out. <laughs>